Thank you, Margo. So just a little bit about what Wild Sun does for those of you who are not familiar with us. Um, we're treating sick, injured, and orphaned wildlife, always with the intention of release. So that means that we're pretty strict about how we handle them when they're in our care. Uh, we're not talking to the animals or touching the animals or using their names or anything like that. Um, we're trying to get them back out into the wild so we don't want them to habituate to people. Um, in the case of sick and injured animals, they always need our help. You know, if they're, if they're debilitated to the point where they're, they're unable to care for themselves. In the case of orphan animals, it's really important to actually communicate with the community, with, with you guys, with everybody, that it's usually not the case that, or, that animals that you think are orphans are. Um, so it happens often with birds, baby squirrels, uh, baby deer, um, that, you know, let's say birds, for example, they come out of their nest as part of their development. Uh, they'll be on the ground depending on their species for, for days, even a week, and their parents are watching them and bringing them food and making sure that they're safe and they're okay. And they'll hop around a bit, they'll figure out how to fly eventually, and then they'll stay with their parents for the first year or so of their life. It depends on the species again. And they're learning how to be a bird, how to avoid predators, how to um, find the proper food, build a nest, all, all these really essential skills. And so people find these birds and they bring them to us and immediately their chance of survival goes down, even though we can do as great a job as possible um, bringing them up, releasing them still. They just don't know how to survive in the wild very well. And so some of them, it, it may mean that they may not survive. So um, it's important to leave animals where they are unless you know that they're sick, you know that they're injured, you know that the mother's dead, you know that they're in immediate danger. Um, immediate danger maybe interfere right away, but otherwise call a rescue center such as Wild Sun and we can tell you what to do in that case. Um, another few important things that we do, we promote conservation and we identify and mitigate threats to wildlife. So, so far we've um, discovered that electrocution is the biggest reason why we have animals coming in. Um, how can we solve that problem where we are working towards it? It's a, it's a long complicated process. Um, other threat mitigation, so we have uh, dog and cat attacks are one of the main reasons why we have animals come in. And so right now we're offering a spay and neuter campaign for free to Kabuya residents. We just uh, did our pilot program in uh, January and we're going to continue doing this in April, May, June, July of this year alongside our vet externships and, uh, and our pre-vet internships. Um, so those are ways that we can mitigate threats that we identify in the area. Um, we're reintroducing locally extinct species. You see the photo of the scarlet macaw. Um, they used to live in this area, and so they play an important role ecologically that they disperse seeds. And so where a lot of this area was cow field for a long time and some has regrown or been replanted for teak trees and melina trees, the scarlet macaw will drop seeds in between the teak and melina and all of a sudden fruit trees will grow and that supports all kinds of biodiversity. And so that's one of the main reasons that we're reintroducing the scarlet macaw first. And we have plans for spider monkeys and some others. Um, educating the public, that's part of what we're doing right now, making sure that everyone knows what are these threats, how can we do better to live with these, these animals in nature training the next generation of wildlife biologists and veterinarians through our academic programs or internships. Um, definitely look into those. If you have questions, let us know. And um, thanks, Margot. I'm, I'm going to turn it back to you guys.